Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create your first application written in C-Sharp with Visual Studio 2008. So let's go ahead and click the Create Project, and we're going to go Visual C-Sharp, and we want a Windows Form application. And let's name it Hello World. Okay. Now we have our form, which Visual Studio has already written all the code for it, which is located in the design and it's written everything here the generated code and let's go ahead and go to our toolbox and drag over a button and let's name that button quick game and for fun let's go ahead and rename our form to and there's a bunch of other properties that a button and the form and any uh, control has that uh, you can mess around with if you want. There's a couple cool stuff you can do with it. Anyway, um, now let's go ahead and double click the button and that will make Visual Studio Auto create a um, event argument for it and write all the code for you. So when you click the button, anything that's in between these two brackets um, is the code that is executed as once you click that button. So we're going to make a message box, which is basically just a little box that pops up. It's pretty simple. And we're going to make it show. And you know, you can press the S, and it'll highlight the show button or the show thing. And you can press your tab key, and it'll auto fill in everything. And when you open the parentheses, you see it says one of twenty-one. So that means these are all the things that we can do with the message box in the show. But the ones we want to use are the first one, which is the text to display in the message box. We'll do hello world. And then do a comma to go to the next thing. And that's the caption, text to display in the title bar. So we want that just to be hello world too. And then close parentheses and do the semicolon, which is you need after every line in C sharp minus a few exceptions, which we'll talk about in the next episode. So Anyway, so we're done here. So let's go ahead and press the start. Let's go to world. Hello world. All right, so we know it works. Good job. You made your first application. And let's just add something else a little bit more cool to it. Let's do label. Put a label here. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter. That one's just called label one, but you can change it to whatever you want. Actually, let's go ahead and clear it out. So it's still there, but it just doesn't have a name. And before um, we execute the button one click and once the form loads, we want to make an int and set it equal to zero. So as soon as the form loads, it knows that there's an int i and its value is zero. We set that here so that now we can use this i with anything so if they're like 20 buttons and they're all private void button blah 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 click we can use this i in any of those button clicks so it's kind of useful it's basically like a global variable but not really global since yeah um and let's do i plus plus and that will add one to i and we can also do something like i minus minus to subtract one label one dot text equals this this list plus i plus times so now it's going to say based on the value of i it's going to say this button has been pressed one time this button has been pressed two times this button has been pressed three times so Hello world. Oh, this button has been pressed one time. Oh, this button has been pressed two times. So it's adding one each time you're clicking the button. So it's kind of well, that's my first tutorial, and if you need any other help with anything C Sharp or Visual Studio 2008 related, go ahead and leave a comment or head over to my forums, uh, which is located in the description. And make sure to subscribe to all my videos and also head to my forum or my website if you uh, want to 
check out some cool programs I've coded myself or just want to discuss whatever. All right, Blackware signing out.